comes from that one foghorn. That's the one we're going to blow by the south foghorn. We could blow the north one, but we're going to blow the south one this morning. And so that pipe sends the compressed air to that particular foghorn. And if you follow it back, it comes from these two storage tanks. And in these two storage tanks, we, we keep compressed air. And the way we monitor how much is in there is with this gauge over here. And uh, you'll notice this, uh, this gauge is reading uh, around 18 PSI, pounds per square inch. That's how much is in these tanks. In order for the true personality of this foghorn to come out, we need to get the PSIs up to 40, 40 PSIs. So the way we're going to do this is if you follow this pipe back, it comes from this hunk of steel right here. And this is the compressor. This has a piston inside it, it has a piston rod, and it's got this flywheel. And this piston moves back and forth, mm -hmm. compresses the air, and sends it up this pipe to the tanks. All right? But we got to get this flywheel moving. Yeah. Right? And the way we do that is with this, this old Caterpillar engine that dates back to the 1920s. And this guy is still running. But there's, a, there's a, another challenge here, and back in the 20s, starter technology wasn't really around at the time. Um, and you'll notice there's not an electric starter on it, and it looks way too big to hand crank. So how do you think we're going to start this thing? Well, it's a diesel. You can hand, you can, it's easy to hand crank a diesel. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, it's pretty heavy, so other than hand cranking, how do you think we're going to start this, this diesel engine? I don't know. Shotgun right, shell. What if we don't have any compression? Um, we're all going to you've got a motor, you've got an engine here. Uh -huh. you've got to start you, you got it. Yeah, mounted, mounted on the, ga on the diesel <laughs> engine is a completely separate gasoline engine. It's known as a pony engine. And so what we're going to do today is, um, remember the interactive part with your help? We're going to get this gasoline engine started. And once it's started, we're going to use it to start the diesel engine. Once the diesel engine's going, we're going to engage a clutch get, to get this flywheel going. Mm -hmm. Once the flywheel's going, this will compress the air. Mm -hmm. And we'll open up this valve here so the air can travel up here to get into these tanks. And then um, we'll monitor on this gauge until it reads 40 PSI. Once it hits 40 PSI, we'll open up this other valve so that air can travel in that direction. I could open up this one and that would send it to the other horn, but we're going to okay. use this horn today. Okay? So, one more piece to the puzzle. Remember those two wires that were on the roof? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, right here, there's a, a timer for the, for the diaphone controls. Remember, diaphone, two, mm -hmm. two horns. We're going to operate the south horn. So when, I've, when this switch is flipped, it, it activates this electric motor, mm -hmm. which turns. Anybody ever taken apart an old washing machine timer or dryer? Like faces, I guess not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, um, what, the, what this is, is an electric motor, and it's got two discs on it with notches. Mm -hmm. So as this turns, as this roller bearing hits this, um, uh, this notch, it depresses and makes an electrical contact. And once the electrical contact is made, it sends electricity up to one of those valves, opening it, and that's how the popcorn blows. And there are two of these discs here. One for each, and they're timed differently, they're different sizes, mm -hmm. one for each one. Okay? So, I need my first of many volunteers. I'll volunteer. All right, you're going to start the engine, the uh, gasoline engine. It'll get a little noisy in here, but. Um, oh, yeah, like a lawnmower. Yeah, like a lawnmower, but then a diesel engine and a compressor. That's what it is. Exactly. So I've turned the gasoline on. I'm going to turn the choke 
and the uh, throttle on, so just give it a good yank. All right, make sure nothing's behind you. Oh, you can do better than that. Come on. It's got my like period. Put it on this one. Yeah, like this. With the fairing. Yeah. <laughs> just really give it a good yank. You're not going to hurt. Thank <laughs> you.
Compared to this newer engine, which has a radiator on it, yeah. and this was this is a newer engine. This was installed somewhere in the 50s. It's got an electric starter, and it's a lot oh, more yeah. 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 And uh, again, the name of the game is redundancy. So two compressors, one here, one here. Notice this one's a little different, though. It's got an electric motor running it instead, and this electric motor is powered by the generator, which is attached to that diesel engine. Okay. So there's two benefits there. One is, of course, it runs this, but also it acts as a backup power supply for the island. Mm -hmm. so. so, okay, here's the part I didn't get. Mm -hmm. So we've got this foghorn out here. So when is this used? It's demonstration. demonstration. Just for demonstration only, purposes. And you keep it up for Just for us tourists. Living history. That's exactly right. Yes. It's, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a relic, but it's, yeah, a, yeah. it's, a, it's historic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've got the volunteers that come out. There are two guys who their mission or love or passion is just keeping all this stuff running. Got it. They do all the maintenance on it, mm -hmm. change the oil, so on and so forth. I see. And are those, um, the one, the fall button that's out there, is that the cable electric? How do, and it's, it has a generator? Or uh, how no, does it's, it's battery operated. Oh, and it's it got is. a solar panel. If you look over, the, if you look over the, the, uh -huh. the picket fence that you saw, it, yeah. there's a solar panel yes. there. And then there's a battery bank which operates it. Oh, okay. Okay. And the, the horn is on the island, on the other island? No, it's on is this it? island. It's on this island. If you go uh, over there to this corner of the house uh -huh. and look over the side, you'll see a device about this tall with a solar panel and a battery okay. box. Okay. That's what took the place of this entire building. Okay. Yeah, right outside our bedroom window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 